stitching out of that bed I am. I am shedding so bad. All right, what up, what up, what up? Literally just hopped out of the shower, posted a video, and then um, heading out. Okay, so today's gonna be a little bit of an interesting day. First, I'm gonna go over, get the truck washed, because as you saw yesterday, it is filthy, okay? Um, then go over to work. Uh, only got a few hours to, of, of work stuff to do, so that'll be cool. Drive out into the woods, pick up a dude, come back. Um, and then after that, I need to go over to my little spot and I need to gather up um, a bunch of what's called Cariso cane. Now, Cariso cane is like a desert version of bamboo. Really cool stuff. So, um, so I'm going to go harvest up a bunch of Cariso cane for a skills workshop that I'm going to do later on. I, I should have plenty of time to get back. I haven't hopped on the motorcycle for a couple of days now. And yeah, just want to get out and ride. It'd also be good to get that thing washed after it looked like it got crapped on by a bunch of birds. That's got to be the, the hardest thing about living in the desert is that anytime it rains, it doesn't matter. If it rains, then there's also dust in the air, and so dust just clings to everything. So if it rains, it means that it's basically spitting mud at you. It's tough to be a vehicle in St. George. All right, just bouncing into the car wash right now. Step one of the day. It's nice to have a clean truck. Um, it's actually been hard to get my truck washed with the light bar up on top. Not a lot of places will let me go in, you know, which is understandable, I guess. They don't want the liability of breaking off my light bar or whatever. So maybe with the lower profile light bar on there that I'll get on there later on, then it'll it'll go a little bit smoother. Love this car wash, by the way. This is uh, fabulous Freddy's car wash. They always do such a good job, even with all the crap that I do with my truck. So I remember when I was a kid, I used to go through these car washes and I'd be terrified. I would be thinking that like monsters were eating the car. This part was like octopus, right? My mom would always be like, oh, there's an octopus on the car. Oh, we're going underwater like a submarine, you know? And it was always terrifying to me. I don't know why, like, you know, it's just a car wash, but the imagination goes wild. You think up weird stuff when you're a kid. Done with the car wash. Man, they do such a good job. It feels good to be driving a clean truck again. I'm gonna drive out into the desert, which is my safe haven, my place, my jam, I love it. Ugh. I know I should lay off the sweets, but man, these rips are fantastic. I hadn't had them until a couple of days ago. I can't stop eating them. They're great, they're wonderful. I can't stop eating these things. Luckily, you eat two of them. They're kind of satisfied for a little while if you let them sit in your mouth. Because they're so flavorful. So you don't have to like eat the whole bag to get all the flavor. Monsoon season. Look at that. Building it up. It's coming, look out. <laughs> That's crazy. I like the big poof over there. Yeah. <laughs> like a cotton ball, bam! Oh yeah, okay, just leaving work. This is awesome. Heading over right now harvesting. I'm gonna get some Cariso cans so that I can teach a flute making clinic in a couple of days. But then I've also got this deal of the jig tonight. We're going over to a rec center. I'm gonna go swimming, maybe jump off the diving board. We've got some cool monsoon clouds starting to finally appear. We've had some storms in the last few days. Uh, Two nights ago and three nights ago, we had some, some decent storms. Hoping that this is the start of monsoon season for us here. I know it started up in Arizona already, so hopefully it's up here now. Okay, so like I said, um, I'm gonna be harvesting Cariso cane. Now, Cariso cane is kind of like the desert's version of bamboo. Um, it's a little bit thinner than bamboo. It's not as uh, not as sturdy or whatever, but it still has the same properties. It's got sections, hollow spaces, and um, and it's really easy to carve flutes out of because it's already hollow, uh, and it has multiple chambers. Like you have you have the barriers between the chambers that you can work with to go from a breathing chamber to a resonance chamber. Anyway, 
Um, so I'm heading up to my spot right now. I'm gonna drive out of town and, and get uh, get some cane harvested up. I'm teaching a skills workshop at work in a couple of days, and the subject of it is flutes. Um, and so I'll be. That's why I'm. That's why I'm going out and harvesting this stuff up get it for that so that I don't have to worry about it. Also, it would be good for it to dry out for a couple of days before the skills workshop. All right, just pulled up to my Cariso cane supply. This right here is called Cariso cane. Um, so, yeah, you can see it kind of looks like bamboo. Um, it has these sections to it. Make flutes, containers, whatever, it doesn't matter. You can make pretty much anything you want to out of it. Pretty nifty stuff. So I'm gonna get harvesting. All right, all right, all right. So we got loaded up with Cariso cane here. All this cane is gorgeous. I really want rain. I really want rain. Listen to those cicadas. Crazy loud. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. That's better. A lot better. Kind of a crazy day. Didn't wasn't able to ride the motorcycle. Um, been been off and on raining. Now we're heading over to an aquatic center for uh, heading over to an aquatic center for a youth activity. So this should be pretty fun. I'm, ho I'm looking forward to it. Just like jump off of stuff. <laughs> I'm inside a giant bra right now. It's crazy in here. My eyes are burning. My lungs feel like I'm getting chlorine poisoning. Crazy. I need to hang out with this dude. He's got he's got it all made. The true silverback. So now we're like fully embedded in the left boob. Oh snap. So I haven't jumped off a legit meter board in years, probably 10 years and uh, just tried and failed. Look at my feet. Yeah, that'd be an ouch. That hurt real bad. See how deep this pool is. Pretty deep. Do I look like a zombie? So the day's coming to a close. Oh, okay. Man, it's been a fun day, but it's been a long day. The aquatic center was cool. Uh, jacked myself up. You know, it's what happens, I guess. You're doing things that your body's not in a position to commit as much as you would like it to. But. Anyway, I'm really tired. I'm just gonna head home and hit the sack. Tomorrow, got a pretty, pretty uh, packed day lined up. 
I hope you guys have fun today. You know, get out there, just do something. Do something uh, Do something new, do something different. Just try something out, even if it's something really old. Like for me, jumping off diving boards, pretty old. I had a great time. Bummer, I hurt myself. But you know what? Um, it's getting me thinking, you know, just about about myself, about the shape that I'm in. Some of the things that I could be doing in my life to to make it so that that thing doesn't happen again. That's totally inside my control. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. I really hope you have an awesome day. Make it a great day for yourself. Make it a great day for the people around you. All right, peace out.